Hello, I'm Dane. Happy holidays and welcome to another episode of Das Jusu. In today's episode, you'll discuss how to split a columns into multiple rows using DAX. So I do have a already a sample data with me. And what we want to do is for each comma in the examinations column. We want to sp split each value separated by a comma. Now, this would have been pretty simple in Power Query. And let me demonstrate that for you. So, let's add a column. And we'll be using a function called text.split. And then the column and the delimiter, which is a comma. And we can just expand this into new rows. So text.split creates a list of values from the original column split by delimiter. That's what text.split does. And if you want to split by multiple delimiters, I do have a separate video for that, which I will leave in the comment section or in the description. Let's describe this and do our thing in DAX. Okay, so what do we do? We will be using a function called path items. And let's check path items. So we'll call this items. Equals path item. And our path is examinations. And let's try to get the second position. So for the second row, you should be getting EBIOPB. And then, of course, the type is a string or a text. Okay. So no result. Why is that? Let's go to the documentation. And here it is. So the reason why we did not get any results because path item works on the thing called pipes and our delimiter right now is a comma so we need to change comma to pipe so let's add another column and we will call this substitute substitute equals substitute Oops. our text is examinations old text is comma and we'll be replacing that with a pipe so here we go okay. let's change this to substitute so now we have we were able to pull or to extra a second element. But this is only generating um another column. So what we want to do is we will be creating um calculated table which should contain, you know, uh, our path numbers. And we'll be using that path numbers to generate the rows from the extracted 
element of the examinations column or items. So I will be creating a new calculated table which is referencing a data table. So let's say let's name this items equals data. And we'll be adding a column called path items. Path items. And substitute. Same formula, substitute. Uh, column is examinations. We'll be replacing comma with the pipe so we now have our path items i'll be deleting the, the calculated columns i created in the original table delete delete this, we want everything to happen in the items name. So now we have our path items. The next thing we want to do is we'll assign this to a variable to path items. Okay, path items plus. The next thing we want to do is count how many items we have in the path item. So, um, path length. Well, it's returning an error because path length is a reserve word is a function so path length the path length and the table we are supposed to add a column to path items to pick the path length path length so path items and then we will check we will return this rather this variable to see the result okay so what do we have so our path length, the maximum path length is four. So that's that max path length is what we will be using to create or generate a series of numbers. So var first. Uh, let's add max length. which is what we'll be doing is to pick the maximum length from this path length table. So path length and path length. So this should return four. And to test, let's add a column the path length which should return the max length uh, max length. okay so we should yep we all have four now the next thing to do is to generate a series of numbers so um 
series. We call this series. Generate series. We'll start with one, or one, and we'll end with max length and increment this by one. So this is the result. Okay. So the next thing to do is We'll be cross joining this table here with this table. So cross join path items and series. And the result will be sort this by ID and Pick as one. So we now have, so since we have this, since this generate series generates four rows, we now have four rows for each original row. And next is we will add items we will add another column that will pick the items each individual item so we have add columns cross join and we'll name this items and we'll be using path item and that will be run against path items and the item number is value so see, this is our item number value let's return that so here we go we now have the individual items so we'll do some cleaning. Um, let's filter the result. We're not is is a blank items. And we'll be selecting this, the columns we need. So we'll need report ID, examinations, and items. So select columns, report ID is report ID. Examinations is examinations and items. So you might be wondering why I did not specify a name for items. It's because this item items column was created virtually. And now if I did not specify, for example, the name for report ID, this is what we'll get. Data underscore report ID, and data is the name or table. But if you're fine with it, then it's okay. If you want a better name, then just specify the name. Okay, so I hope you've learned something, and thank you for staying with me. Enjoy your holidays. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Dane. Happy holidays and welcome to another episode of Da Jusu. In today's episode, you'll discuss how to